Welcome viewers. In this video, I am going to explain how to connect our Swigo timer switch to your existing starter. This is our Swigo. If you see the back side, you can find four terminals. Two for incoming supply and another two for output. As per this diagram, remove the line and the neutral from your existing starter and connect to Swigo. The, now, input supply will come to Swigo. Then take output from CGO to your existing starter. I will explain with the one starter with along with the one LNT starter. For example, I take this LNT MRG2 submersible pump controller. If you see inside the starter, they provide five terminals. Two terminals, first two terminals for the PS and the neutral. This is the incoming supply. Another three for the ROB. This is three wire going to motor this motor wire don't disturb leave it as it is and remove this now line and neutral from the existing starter remove the line and neutral wire connected to Swigo input take two new wires connect to from Swigo output to existing starter line input side line and neutral when you make the connection, please make sure the line to line and neutral to neutral should not reverse. See now connection is over. This two small wire for float switch. Okay, if you have the float switch only you connect this two wire. Otherwise leave this wire as it is. Now I am going to switch on the starter through Swigo. Now Swigo is on. Time has started now. You can start this existing starter through manual. Now light is on also, it means motor is running. After the time delay, after the 15 minutes, automatically it will switch off. Or if you want to stop early, you can switch off here also. I hope now we are understanding the connection detail. If you have any doubt, you can call us. We are ready to support always.